Hey everybody, thanks for joining us today. I'm gonna to be doing some cleaning to Boomi's home along with um, some couple changes. I am going to be moving his current peephole to the brown side and I'm gonna replace it with a night angel peep that I just recently got. And I'm going to be connecting the two with um, you know, the night angel little tunnels and just kind of letting him do the burrowing on his own from there but I wanted to at least get him into the peeps just so he can find it last time I didn't have a tunnel and I would say it took him maybe a couple weeks to find it on his own but I was so proud when he did find it you guys it was glorious and uh, I happened to be there I was about to leave for work and I saw that he was like clawing his way to it ah, and it was awesome it was glorious it was so satisfying but yeah so I'll share a little clip about that um, and so yeah, that's gonna be like my biggest changes. I made a new platform for his wheel. The way it currently is, it's just like on a wooden plank that has bedding underneath it. So it's honestly more of a stress relief off of me because I get paranoid that he's gonna burrow underneath and something's gonna happen and he's gonna get stuck. So this is gonna be just a huge relief knowing that the wheel is stable. I also went to my local craft store and I just got a cork roll. So I cut some cork. So I'm gonna put, be putting these on the, um, in between, you know, on top of the platforms. So hopefully that'll prevent some things from sliding around. So I'm excited about that. So let's get started. So I think I'm going to start with putting some of his dirty bedding into here because when I take him out, I am going to put him in there temporarily. So I think having that his familiar scent will hopefully help him relax a little bit more in here. I will be tidying up his sand area as well, but for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in the temporary bin. That way he at least has the sand if he wants to use it. And there's King Boomy. Not too happy right now, as you can see. Cause I had to take him out. He actually kind of surprised me. I opened the three chamber hide and he was bloop right there. So went ahead and just took him out while he was there. So I'm gonna go give him a carrot cause he's so amazing. Love you. This is actually a really interesting little size comparison. So these are all things that I took out of his current enclosure. And as you can see, he barely has any space for anything. So that's actually kind of um, good perspective. Oh my god, he's so cute. Look at the fluff. Look at the floof. All right, everyone. This is what his thing looks like right now. It's so empty. So I threw some sunflower seeds in there so he could, you know, go forage. And he's literally found them all and stuffed them in his little cheeks. What a goober. He's so smart. Oh, so smart. And he found the carrots. I don't know where he's going to hide them, but he has them. Prepare. Yahoo! 